Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at how to solve problems that use a combination of the thin lens equation and the magnification equation. Now you should have already watched the videos on the thin lens equation and on the magnification equation for lenses. If you haven't done so, please watch those videos first. I'll put a link in the description box below. So we have one learning goal today to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, image distance, or focal length when given the other required variables by using a combination of the thin lens equation and the magnification equation. So let's just take a uh, really quick look here again at the thin lens equation. So in white is the original form of the equation and then the colored equations below show the different versions of the equation to solve to, for the isolated variables. And then here we have magnification equation, the original version in white at the top, and then in the other versions where we just take the small pieces of the magnification equation that we need to solve for a particular problem. Those are shown in the colored equations below. So let's take a look at an example here. Determine the image distance and image height for a, or for a 16.3 centimeter tall object Place 24 centimeters from a converging lens having a focal length of 12 centimeters. So let's find all our information here. So we have a 16.3 centimeter tall object placed 24 centimeters from a converging lens with a focal length of 12 centimeters. So let's start off with our givens. So we have the original object has this height, so HO is 16.3 centimeters. HO is positive because HO is always a positive number. Uh, it's placed this far from a converging lens, so that's the distance of the object, is 24 centimeters. Again, the distance of the object is always a positive number, so that's why I put positive 24. And then it has a focal length of 12 centimeters. And I chose positive 12 because it is a converging lens. If it was diverging, it would be negative 12. And then what's required? Well, we want to know the image distance, so that's di. And we want to know the image height, which is hi. So let's start off with our analysis here. We're given information about height, distance, and the focal length. Now, if we use the magnification equation, we wouldn't have enough information here to be able to use any of those pieces. We have no information about magnification, and we don't have enough information about height or distances in order to use that part of the equation. However, with the distance of the object and the focal length, we can use the thin lens equation to find the distance of the image. So we'll start off with that part. So for our analysis for part A, It'll be 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. And if we rearrange that equation for DI, it equals DO times F over DO minus F. And if we substitute and solve, so this here is all part A. If we substitute and solve, we're going to end up with DI equals, and our DO is 24 centimeters, times the focal length, which is 12 centimeters, over 24 centimeters minus 12 centimeters. And if we calculate that out, we're going to end up with 24 centimeters. So the distance of the image is 24 centimeters. It's a positive number, so we know that we're dealing with a real image. So let's now calculate the height of the image. So I'm going to move on to the next slide. These numbers will disappear, but you have them on your page now, so you can refer back to them. So here for part B, so this will be here part B, for our analysis we're going to use the magnification equation. Since we're given no information about magnification, just heights and distances, we're going to use that piece of the magnification equation. And so to rearrange for the height of the image, which is our part B, that's what we're trying to find out. Oops. So our HI 
is equal to negative di times ho over do. And so if we substitute and solve here, hi equals negative, and our di that we just calculated was 24 centimeters times our height from the original question is 16.3 centimeters and our DO from the original equation was 24 centimeters. So if we do that math, we end up with negative 16 centimeters. Uh, if you notice, I chose negative 16 rather than negative 16.3 because we only have two significant digits in the 24, so our final answer can only have two significant digits. So negative 16 centimeters. Now if we just pause here for a minute, does this make sense? Negative 16 for a height means that it's inverted. We know that our answer was a real image from the part A. It told us that it was a real image. Real images and converging lenses are inverted, so they would have negative, um, negative measurements for their height. So this looks correct. So now we can write our sentence. The inverted real image is 16 centimeters tall and 24 centimeters from the lens. So this is how we would solve a problem like that. Let's take a look at another type of example. So determine the magnification of the image for an object placed 6.39 centimeters from a diverging lens that has a focal length of 18.6 centimeters. So let's take a look at what we need to do here. So we want to find the magnification of an image for an object placed 6.39 centimeters from a diverging lens that has a focal length of 18.6 centimeters. So what are we our givens here? So the original object is placed 6.39 centimeters from the lens. So the distance of the object, DO, is 6.39 centimeters. And this is a positive value because DO is always positive. And then it tells us the focal length is 18.6 centimeters. Now it's a diverging lens, so we'll use negative 18.6 centimeters. And then what's required of us? We need to find the magnification. Now, if we use the magnification equation, we have a DO, but we don't have DI. And in order to use magnification with distances, we need both distances to calculate the magnification. However, we do have the focal length. And DO combined with focal length, we could use the thin lens equation to find DI. Once we have DI, we can use our DO and DI to find the magnification. So this one doesn't specifically tell us we have two problems to solve, but we need to do it in two steps in order to get the piece of information we're missing to calculate the magnification. So we'll start off with our thin lens equation again. 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over di. And if we rearrange this for di, di equals do times f over do minus f. And then now we can substitute and solve. So this is the first part a here. So substitute and solve. di equals, and our do is 6.39 centimeters times negative 18.6 centimeters over and our DO 6.39 centimeters minus negative 18.6 centimeters. And if we do our math there, we end up with negative 4.75 centimeters. So this will be our di. Now that we have di, we can use do from the equation to calculate magnification. So I'm going to move to the next slide, but you have these values on your page. So let's look at the next part here. So our second part of the analysis. 
we'll be using the magnification equation and we're using the piece with di and do. So that's magnification equals negative di over do and we're trying to solve for magnification so we're going to use that form of the magnification equation. So if we substitute our values, our di that we calculated was um, negative 4.75 centimeters over and the DO is 6.39 centimeters. And if we do that math, we end up with 0 0.743 uh, fold magnification. So that will be our answer for this question. Uh, if we take a look here, our final answer is a positive number and it tells us that we're dealing with a diverging lens. We know that diverging lenses produce virtual images that are upright and magnification is positive for a virtual upright image, so we know that we have the correct sign. So let's take a look at our sentence here. The virtual image is magnified 0 0.743 fold. So this is how we would solve a problem like that. So let's take another look at our learning goal here. You should be able to calculate magnification, object height, image height, object distance, image distance, or focal length when given the other required variables using a combination of the thin lens equation and the magnification equation for lenses. If you can do this, fantastic. If not, please re-watch the video. And if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.